doctor-friendly reminder that men will never really have to suffer consequences if they have a mummy and a girlfriend that they won't marry to do it for them. <laughs> yes, this uh, rapist uh, has his mom and his girlfriend, or sorry, the mother of his four children that he's been engaged to for forever and dating for forever and who literally did everything to get him where he is. They, they are going to swoop in and make sure this man does not have to take care, take, to do anything. Like, when I tell you that men do not have to ever really, like, deal with the consequences because the women in their life will make sure they don't have to, this is what I mean. Don't be either of these people. The toxic boy mom enabler, enmeshment, whatever it is, and the woman who, um, build a, build a, build an MMA fighter, bear, whatever. Because this, this, uh, I don't know if you, if you heard, but you know, he was found guilty in like a civil suit against his, the woman that he brutally graped. Um, although he's not been prosecuted criminally, so I don't know if I have to say alleged or not, whatever. But there's uh, some juries tend to thought he was guilty enough to make him pay, although it's only like two hundred or two hundred fifty thousand euros or something. Um, anyway just go into a that that man is never that that man is never going to stop fighting it doesn't matter how many even if he's found guilty other than jail he will never stop fighting because too many men too many people make money from him right he is like a money making machine and we know um that fighters are just athletes in general like and 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 movie stars and singers and producers and whatever they get to just keep 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 doing whatever this one little grape was definitely not gonna ruin their career i mean mike tyson just fought like what last week <laughs> um but anyway it might be tempting to think wow i wish i were her four kids and a big old yacht with all that money and this mm, you could not pay me to be in that woman's position because this man has done nothing but humiliate her and he's going to continue to do so and she is going to continue to be this person clutching the hand of her man and the thing is, is that men are always going to have a wife or a mom or daughters or somebody who's going to go into court with them and take the hit and be like, well, I'll stand by my man to make him not look as bad, even though he's doing nothing but hum like She looks so bad for standing neck through with him through this. <laughs> like, um, if she ever had any respect by the public before, uh, nobody wants to be this person. <laughs> like, um. I don't care how much, how many boats, how many yachts that she's got. Um, anyway, if you don't know about this case, I think this, I don't know, this is yesterday or whatever. It was my birthday this week. Yesterday's my birthday. I was supposed to be not working, but of course I checked the internet and then I was like, mm, so whatever. I didn't work, but today I looked into it more. So, um, this woman, um, was brutally graped by this man and uh allegedly i don't want to get in trouble um and uh and he has to pay now they you know the irish police or whatever won't convict him criminally but uh in terms of getting a payout at least that that's what and you know i'm actually going to be releasing more of my um, my um clips of my live uh, with michelle Simpson Teagle because she went over all of this and how important these civil cases are because a lot of these people a lot of these men will never go to jail never get like have criminal charges really brought against them but they should at least have to pay there is a reward in getting the payout not because of the money although the money is helpful because you have so much so much PTSD from these situations but it is more to s signal the system and you know I mean 250 is nothing thousand these cases are very very important one of the reasons why um p diddy was ex exposed is because cassie that one case that one case opened the door for all of this so again so much respect for her also i don't know if you saw this but you know even if you have a son that is a literal prince he's gonna go around and humiliate you like I swear to God, it's like men's full-time job is humiliating the women attached to them. <laughs> it's like this literal like princess. Now her son is pff, whatever. Uh, and it wasn't the first time, <laughs> by the way. This guy looks like Gregory from uh, Game of Thrones. I don't even watch that show. I saw that one episode, like the big one, the red something. Um, this guy, <laughs> whatever. Don't like if you don't know anything. But I'm gonna go into some just a few of the things. 
allegedly and like not allegedly like full like factual proven like even yesterday when jake paul and god i don't like that guy either but he he did this tweet you know um and this was his uh, you're uh, no you're a little ga like are you a teenage boy, a homophobic teenage boy? You know, I worked with teenage boys and this was their favorite insult. What is wrong with you? Like this, Con I've never liked this Connor dude, but like everything I learn about him makes him so much worse than I thought he was. He is like the epitome of like, he's like him, Elon and Trump are all the same dude. <laughs> Mine is just has an Irish accent. This was in the New York Times. So it's $260,000. So whatever euros that is, I can't, I can do the math in my head. So the jury found him liable. And a civil and I watched her statement and it was really moving. You know, I don't think she expected this woman has been through hell. And I'm gonna go into that in a minute. She was like shaking, she was uh she, it was very moving. Like, I don't think she expected this. The New York Times said, a hard scrabble Irishman with a foul mouth and his own name tattooed across his wrist. Became famous globally not only for his feats in the octagon, but also for his backstory and his frequent violent outbursts so like i'm not surprised at all about this man not long before right rise had become uh he was destitute and living with his mother living with his girlfriend and his mother in his mother's attic not working because he's a little hobo um <laughs> of course when he lost this what does he say i am with my family now focused on my f see that's the thing like a lot of people are so surprised why, why men get married He's not even married. He doesn't need to. He's got four kids. But he has a, a fiance he can hide behind. Four children, a mother. He has his family to kind of be the shock absorbers of any of the stuff that he inflicts on other people. He can always call I mean, family man. The family man. The family man is one of the biggest menaces to society, as we've been seeing in the Giselle Pellico case here in France. The family man will have uh, like a hundred dudes come over and grape you. <laughs> do not think that just because men have children um or even wives that they are not a minute so there's a lot of details about this case and obviously like it doesn't whatever it doesn't look great she's definitely not the perfect victim there is no perfect victim they already knew each other so it wasn't just like a random chick they came from the same part of dublin uh in the early hours of december 9th after mcgregor and his hands exchanged messages on instagram a driver picked her up and and a colleague up from a holiday potter par party and drove him to Beacon, Beacon Hotel in Dublin. On the way, Miss Han consumed some, um, which he has a, a long history of having problems with, is one of the reasons so supposedly why he's always getting these things, but it's not about the stuff, because he's probably that person when he's totally sober too. During the trial, jurors were told that Mr. McGregor had taken it too. Once at the penthouse suite, Mr. McGregor beckoned her to the bedroom according to the lawsuit and then began kissing her and removing her clothes. When she tried to fend him off, he put her in a chokehold three times, uh, Okay, trigger warning. Uh, sorry, I didn't say that earlier. After she ceased resist, she finally stopped resisting, right? You're like an MMA fighter. <laughs> You're not gonna win. And then he, you know, violently raped. Allegedly, a second man, James Lawrence, later assaulted in the same suite. He was not found liable, so I don't know if they had enough evidence to think that he actually had to. After she went home, her mother called her an ambulance and she was examined at a, an SA treatment unit. Okay, I'm about to give some really gory details, okay? So brace yourself. I'm gonna pull this around though and... I'm, I'm going to move on from this case in a little bit. But this is like the hard part, okay? Like the really hard part. Um, a physician who testified during the trial said that a tampon was wedged all the way at the top of her... Mm. Uh, also, in another report I read, they had to have, like, remove it. Like, they had to go up there and remove it with whatever those things are called. She had bruising on all four limbs and other parts of her body. I'm sorry, but if you have bruising and like, like the detail of like the tampon, that alone, I am sorry. I mean, I, 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 I love periods. Mm, some of my favorite kind. No shame. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. Um, but in, no woman in her right mind is going to not take that out. Like that detail alone is like, Month later, she went to the police and reported that she'd been grave. During the trial, Mr. McGregor's lawyer said that he and her had vigorous, interesting word, and it was consensual. Now, when she left, the video footage says that, you know, she looked happy, happy, happy. Um, first of all, it could be fun. Second of all, she was high as a kite. Third of all, whenever they say this stuff, it's like, do you know what disassociation looks like? Because, you know, not just that, but her, her lawyer said that she was intoxicated uh, and, you know, full of, hmm. um, 
<laughs> what the New York Times leaves out is this little detail. Um, th this Connor guy has a lot of, um, has several instances of other people intimidating witnesses or, you know, intimidating people who are trying to get him in trouble. Um, but this is one of them. Masked gang broke into the home of her, of the accuser. So they heard about this in the trial, what came out. Um, her, an unknown masked man had broken into her home, smashed the windows, and stabbed her boyfriend on the 14th of June. Uh, so she has been very anxious ever since then, obviously. Um, they broke into the plaintiff's bedroom and were driven out by the plaintiff's partner. Good for him. This is like a rare occasion where, where a man was actually a protector. <laughs> um... But he was stabbed, uh, uh, has a stab wound in the process. Her daughter was asleep in the room next door. The men also uh, broke windows in the front room before leaving. And then they had to be careful to say, we're not laying at the feet of the defendant or saying that they have anything to do with that. We do make claim that it was not an untargeted attack. It rose from supporters of the first named defendant. So even if this was not Connor's like doing, uh, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes, you know, like men who idolize terrifying men are scary. You know, like Trump supporters, terrifying. Elon Musk supporters, terrifying. Connor, terrifying. Because the men who follow men like this and worship men like this are, are like a huge red flag. You don't want to hang out with men who worship men like this. But she had to move because of this. I don't blame had to keep saying you know you know we're not saying that he did it but you know this was a targeted attack why <laughs> you know interesting point even during the case you know the mcgregor said it was a consensual but uh the the look at this that is important for establishing what consent meant after the judge made it clear in the closing statements that the jury to the jury, you know, imagine, I mean, I'm glad that the judge did this. Reminded the jury that submission was not consent, nor was risky, risky behavior. So drinking, hanging drums, all this, any of the stuff that she was doing does not mean that she gave consent. I mean, I'm glad that this was reminded, they were reminded of this, but it sucks that that even has to happen. Because, you know, the media still says stuff like this. Look at this. McGregor and another man had sex with her against her will. What is that word? Hmm. It drives me crazy when they phrase it like this. McGregor denied causing the bruises, saying they possibly came from her diving into the bath. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Here's the, they had to use forceps to get this hambon out. This family man, this sweet family man. Look at that little baby. How could he be this other person? Do not let these dads fool you. Family men are just as dangerous as the non-family men. The family man who is like this, I would argue, is even more dangerous because they know exactly what they're doing. They can get away with way more if they have a wife and children to hide behind. Y'all, look at this. You know, they have been like romanticizing this couple. I, I've, I was going to do a video on this a long time. Because when I heard about this lady, I was like, oh God, we got a build a bear situation. Um, so these two met when he was a loser on an unemployed hobo schedule and she worked, I think, at a nightclub. Not long after quitting his plumbing apprenticeship to chase his mixed martial arts degree full time, young Connor spotted her in a nightclub. He'd seen her before, but this was the first time he spoke to her properly. I wonder if he was like, well, I'm unemployed. Well, look, mom, maybe I should get someone to do everything for me as I chase this dream. Then look at this. I asked her to come over and we just started chatting. She seemed like a nice girl and I like good girls. Oh, you know it. You know, this, these men are, they're not dumb. They're like, okay, I got to get a girl who is going to hold it down, who like is good, right? Who looks good, who, you know, they, I can get people to think is, you know, whatever. You know, it's like all of her Instagram photos are her like pregnant and like playing the whole mom thing. Um, but this, I asked her to come over and we just started chatting. Yeah, okay, so she has a shut up ring that she got like four years ago or something or whatever and is still not married. 
Um, so uh, her financially, she is not very protected, okay? Like she has kids, so she can maybe get child support. This woman is not, just cannot access that fortune without, you know, whatever. Wow, what a romantic story. He was going to this club, seeing her a lot, and then finally he was like, hey. And then what, their first date? You asked her to come over to your, what, your mom's attic? She was living in the attic of his mom's house. So she just comes over and they start chatting. And now, what a romantic story. <laughs> and now, you know, this, don't believe any of this, okay? You know, honestly, this is the perfect story because this woman was like, you know, working while her unemployed loser hobo was, and living in mom's attic with him. And then he finally gets famous. And you'd think, you know, on the, on the outside, it looks like she's getting all the things that, you know, she was pro money. Like she, this man is out there like graping people, beating people up, getting in trouble all the time. Like she has done nothing but humiliated. She's got money, but no amount of money. You could not pay me to be this humiliated. It's all like, you know, I'm doing all this to secure my family's future and Dee's future. One day I want myself and Dee to be able to chill on a beach and not have to worry in the world. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm financially secure us. Okay. Well, dude, you have more money than God. You could have retired a long time ago, chill on that beach. What are you doing? You're going out raping people, beating old men up in pubs because they won't drink your whiskey. And even though men will say stuff like, my girlfriend's been there through the stars. She helped me through this career. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be anybody. Do you think these men are ever grateful? No. Now, I'm not saying that couples don't help each other out and don't help, but this is not one, this build a bear stuff. I'm gonna build up my man. I swear to God, they're, they, they're, he's probably like, what is wrong with you? Why are you still with me? I'm just gonna go grape some people. See if you'll still think I'm all that great. And she's like, I won't leave my man. Look at this. I love to spoil her. She does not work anymore. I hired her to the business. Which is it, bro? She doesn't work or you hired her? She works for me now. <laughs> okay, so she is working. I bet she's doing a lot for that paycheck, honestly. Plus four children, back to back. Girlfriend worked very hard throughout the years and stuck by me when I had essentially nothing. I only had a dream that I was telling her. Like, I'm sorry. <sighs> like, even this is embarrassing. Like, you know, all of the criminal charges and the, the punching old men and the multiple essay allegations is a lot. But even this. Are you, well, are you like... 11. Well, I, actually, I know 11 year olds who are more mature than this. But look at that D and his father tell you. By the way, the, the woman, Nikita, um, it sounds like she was like out on like a little bit of a bender with her friend, but she had a child and a boyfriend at the time. Allegedly, she even brought up her relationship with the boyfriend. I don't know, whatever. I don't even want to talk about this, the details of this. Let's talk about some of the other controversies he's been. Um, he's also like said, done some really racist stuff. In 2023, the Dublin riots, in response to the stabbing of a woman and three children in Dublin, he went on multi anti immigration statements, which I'm telling you is in someone who lives in Europe. This is what they do here in France, too. They do it in the United States, too. Like, this is like, this is what when they were attacking the Haitian community that was rooted in anti blackness. But usually, immigrant is always talking about black and brown people. It's usually anti-blackness, but it can literally be any form of white supremacy. Because when they're talking about immigrants, they're not talking about me or people who look like me. This is a dog whistle for racism. He did all this crap. He also called for the man who perpetrated the stabbings to be murdered and him. It was reported on November 28th that he was being investigated as part of a criminal probe into incitement of hatred following his social media statement. He also, again... Birds of a feather. Elon, he was like, maybe I should run for president. Elon Musk was like, yeah. By the way, none of this has hurt his career because in 2022, remember this case, I think it came out in 2019. 2023, he was in the, with Jake Gyllenhaal or whatever, however you say his name, I always get it wrong, in a remake of Roadhouse. And this man is going to continue to fight. You will never convince me that any, this will impact his career at all. So he has been with this d -late since 20, 2008. Let's see, it's 2024. What's that, 16 years or so? So um, he also is a reckless driver. And remember I told you that men will abuse you through driving, even though he may have been by himself. Um, d getting in cars with men is one of the most dangerous things you can do. 
And maybe I should do that series again. Also, lots of other racism. Racially taunting um, Jose Aldo. Uh, also, um, Floyd Merriweather did all this stuff. Very, like, some of this isn't even dog whistles. This is just straight up, just straight up racism. Urging the crowd to, obs- to yell obscenities to Mayweather and his wife and children. Mayweather said he totally disrespected black women and called black people. Mm-mm. Oh, and then at that Jake weigh-in thing, or J- Logan or Jake, I don't know, one of those dumb brothers. Uh, did you see how he walked up to Tyson? Go watch the video. It's, a, it, it's this. Literally, like, on, on, on four. And then he had the audacity to, to say this. Don't ever bring race into this. You know, I'm an Irishman. My people have been impressed since our entire... Okay, let me tell you something real quick before I... I don't even need to read all this. But um, we see... Like, as, as a white woman, I know what this is. I can see it right away. Because my people are like, oh, we've been abused by men all the time, la la la. So we can't possibly be racist because we're oppressed. When, as if you've been at my page long enough... White women, we are both the oppressor and the oppressed, right? Oppressed by one group, but oppressors of other groups, right? And even if we are not actively out doing this stuff, we use this system itself and we benefit from the system itself to oppress. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a good place to speak about white women. But there's a strong link between Irish Americans and white nationalism. Pause to read if you want to know more. But a good place to start and understand why Connor is saying this stuff and thinks he can get away with it. It's called How the Irish Became White. Good place to start if you want to understand why immigrants would vote for Trump or, immig- you know, someone like Connor would say all this stuff and then play the, like, I'm a victim card. Uh, this is what we do in the United States. This is what we've always been doing. I will, I can do a whole video about that if you want. All roads lead to anti-blackness at the end of the day in the United States, but in general. But of course... Just like white women who go into this whole thing. Oh, how could you call me a resident? When you my people have been oppressed. Zionists do this too. This is like, this is what, this is what, this is what happens all the time. This guy has so many crimes, y'all. I don't even have time to talk about them all. He's been arrested for strong arm robbery, criminal mischief. He's had, he's, the court heard that McGregor has 18 prior convictions from 2018 going all the way back to 2009. He pleaded guilty in this one. Corsica, which is an island off, it's a French island or whatever. Um, just right off the coast in the Mediterranean. Suspension of, susp- suspicion of attempted essay and indecent exposure. Okay. That was dropped for some reason. They always drop this attack here. Uh, attack on a yacht. 2023, I don't know if this is his yacht that he brings his children. Accused of assaulting 42-year-old woman aboard his yacht at Ibiza on his birthday party. Uh, she, claimed she has forced to jump from the yacht to escape him and sustained a broken arm in the process. Right? He physically assaulted her, attacked her or whatever, so she jumped off the boat. She later did a, uh, filed a, a civil suit. So here's the interesting thing. We see a pattern here. She did not make a formal statement with the Spanish police at the time of the incident. I wonder why. I wonder why anybody be afraid of this man because he sends to send, to send people after you. Um, but in January, she gave a formal statement with the Irish police who shared that statement with the Spanish counterpart. And then she filed the civil suit, right? <laughs> after making her formal statement, the woman's car was set ablaze outside of her Dublin home. In February, a brick was reportedly thrown through a window of that resident. In late February, she, news surfaced that the lawsuit was discontinued by the plaintiff with no further information. I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> he also, look at this. <laughs> he even punched the Miami Heat mascot and har- harmed the mascot so <laughs> knocked him out. <laughs> like even the fans, people in the, in the, in the, in the audience were like, oh. People in attendance booed. And later on, he was, you know, it's a skit. It's just jokes. That's what I meant. Everything's just jokes. Another alleged essay. Uh, essay, uh, saw a woman a previous night in a restroom in the Miami Heat. Man, he gets a lot in trouble with the Miami Heat. Uh, dude, this man has been doing so much. But she stands by her man. Gripping that. Mama will too. Mama will always believe her baby boy is innocent. This seems 
like, oh, this dream scenario, they, they, they both, you know, were like, you know, don't come from money and then now they're this. But I am telling you, this is what men do to you. If you build a bear, he is the bear. Because look, you know, again, they met in 2008 in uh, a nightclub. <sighs> not, lo not long after he decided that, you know, plumbing wasn't really for him. And he decided to pursue MMA. They moved into his parents' attic when paying rent was a challenge. But he was not working. He was un unemployed. So who do you think was paying that rent? Until they finally had to move into that attic. I mean, I'm not sure the timeline on this, but I'm telling you, if he was literally training all the time and not making an income, why do you think he dated that girl? Do you think it's because he just found love? Or he went to the same nightclub night after night and was like, one night was like, you know, I should get a girlfriend to help fund this build a MMA project fighter bear. Her support from her extends beyond business management and more in her personal realm. I definitely try to help him out all the time, even without realizing, especially around the fight because it's such a tough time with his weight. I cook, clean, pack his gym bag, all that kind of stuff. Of course you do. You, of course he's a king baby. Look at this. Once she started having babies, it was like 2017, 2019, 2021, 2023, just bang, 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 bang. She's never getting out of this relationship. Another quote that he said... This was from a while ago, obviously, because that was like, they've been together. I did I, uh, I didn't work because I spent all my time training. It's always been my dream to be a hero. Y'all, that's such a big red flag. If a man ever wants to, uh, this is, that's why I talk about the hero complex all the time. You know, that's why I criticize, like, nothing against search and rescue uh, and firemen and all the, like, fire, we need them. But a lot of men who are like desperate to be heroes end up being a hero in the community and a nightmare in their private home. So if a man wants to be a hero, a hero like desperately wants to be a hero, that is a huge red flag. There is something missing in that man. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> heroes don't usually become heroes, but they're not striving to be heroes because that's all about ego. Um, she believed in me. And despite the lack of money, because I was like, hum, 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 uh, I made an effort to take care of my dad and I had to eat athletic food, respect, blah, blah, blah. She always took care of me and encouraged me. Is she your wife or your mom? Because whatever. I know that we like, I just, I hate the way that, that men talk about women as if we're literally their mothers. She took care of me. She encouraged me. She did all that stuff. But how often do men do that? I'm telling you, if man is not your number one uh, fan and in, do and in doing this for you, cheerleading you too, um, that man is your number one hater. <laughs> Behind every failed woman is um, a man who distracted her too much or made her doubt herself. Maybe trapped her or took all her money. <laughs> Little hobo. When I came home from an intense training without energy and tired, she always said to me, Conor McGregor, I know you can do this and it'll work. Now, there, again, there's nothing wrong with this, but this is so normalized. So many men, like, will have a woman working three jobs while they're in getting their, you know, law degree or, you know, becoming a doctor or something. And the minute they get that degree, they cheat or they, like, dump you and go marry someone else. Because they probably won't even marry you. They'll just date you until they, whatever. This man has actually stayed with her and <laughs> hasn't married her. But that doesn't stop him from going. Because when they feel bad about themselves and, you know, you, and it's one-sided. I'm not saying, like, you should grow together, cheer each other on, love and support each other. But when it is one-sided like this and you're putting all your eggs in an MMA fighter basket, this is what he's doing. You know what I mean? The more you sacrifice for men. And especially if that sacrifice is one-sided, the less they respect you because they're like, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? I'd never do that for you. <laughs> he is always by my side and tells me that I can do anything. I got this place thanks to her and she'll never, she never let me down and she never left, left me alone. Again, when you let men think that you are going to be by their side no matter what, you're always there to cheer them on. You believe in them no matter what. This unconditional love crap. This is what they do. They're like, well, she's never going to leave me. So I'll just go out and get all kinds of, you know, in trouble with the law and, you know, grape people, 
grab women and like this man I'm not, I'm just mentioning a few instances this man has has such such a bad reputation for just being a menace to society but he knows that mommy and 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 fiance are never leaving you know I wouldn't be surprised if she's in some sort of abusive relationship with him I mean obviously like she's this man sounds like such a nightmare a whole thing in the Rolling Stones that go, covers all of this too. Now, again, this is nothing new. Like, again, athletes, but boxers and all these fighters especially. I should go and review the movie Rocky. Because I just remember being like, as a kid, I was like, wow, he really loves her. You know, but something about that movie, I just remember thinking like, she seems like, not supportive of him and he's just going to do whatever he wants to do and she just has to sit by and watch him do it who do you think is taking care of that man when he has a brain injury who do you think is taking care of connor like again she's not just in court every time this man gets injured every time anything ha every time his little ego takes a hit who do you think is he's nursing off of now remember mike tyson was accused not just accused sorry sorry not accused found guilty of graping Desiree Washington in 1992. He had six years sentence, he served three. Also abused his wife, Robin Given. She said that his, his, their marriage was characterized by unprovoked rages of violence and destruction. That beauty pageant, uh, Desiree Washington was an 18 year old beauty pageant con contestant. I'm sorry, I was wrong. It says here he was a 10, I read six somewhere else. Here it says it was, he was given a 10 year sentence and served four. None of that got in the way of him being able to fight again, even as an like old man. He's like in his 60s fighting this uh, YouTube loser. You know, but one of the things that he said, the fact that he was convicted is crazy. Because usually um, rapists don't get convicted. And the fact that, the fact that she was not a white woman is even more surprising. So there must have been so much, you know, like the only time they ever care about our grape is if it's used, like the, the system is if it's used to justify racial violence right they don't care about us so uh if he if, if 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 she if he was convicted i'm guessing there was a ton of evidence because the convictions are so hard to get and given that in society black women are the least protected in the united states other than indigenous women um you know both of those groups are like the least protected in the united states uh a conviction is a miracle and he said this look at in a television interview he said the burden of being labeled as a convicted rapist makes him want to do it now. I just hate her guts. She put me in that state where I don't know. I really wish I did now, but now I really want to rape her. Can you imagine saying that with no shame? And again, his marriage to Robin Givens. I remember that interview. And if you don't know her, head of the class was huge, hugely popular back in the day when I was like a kid or a teenager, I don't remember. On that Barbara Walters interview, Google. Anyway, spousal abuse, mental instability, uh, tumultuous. She describes life with him as torture, pure hell, and worse than anything I could possibly imagine. She described him as manic depressive, which was confirmed by doctor. Uh, she finally, you know, sought a divorce from him. And, and according to the book Fire and Fear, Tyson admitted that he punched her and stated it was the best punch I ever threw in my entire life. So if nothing is going to happen to Conor McGregor, nothing. But I'm glad she won some money because there is, uh, you know, it's hard to get a, a, a conviction. It's hard to get a civil settlement either. But as I learned from Michelle, which I'm going to release those videos, um, it, there's, there's a long interview. I had such an amazing interview. So much to say. If there's anything I learned from that is that getting a settlement does something for the soul and, 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 and does move the need in ways I'd never really thought. So I am so glad that this woman got her settlement. He'll never lose anything. He'll never go to jail. But there's something about being believed by uh, your peers, getting some money to help uh, support you from all of the things, the work she missed, all the trauma she went through. Uh, I'm sure that court case was was unbelievable but at the same time you know she had people breaking into her house and stabbing her boyfriend <laughs> you know so it's, it's a miracle that she got a settlement anyway please do not build men up
Please do not believe in them more than they believe in themselves, especially if they don't believe in you and care about your dreams and build you up. If it is one-sided, I'm not saying it's always going to lead to DV and, you know, them going out and getting, you know, convicted of rape. But I am saying that they think there's something wrong with you if you do that. It never ends well for us. Please follow my Patreon where I do live, do travel content, personal content, all kinds of stuff. And please participate in Fem Freeze, which I'll put a link to in my cap. And let me know if you heard the comment song. Welcome, welcome to the comment song. Birthday edition this weekend. Anthony and I went to a gospel workshop with our gospel choir. We went to the gymnasium and sang a lot of songs. Some of them were Christmassy songs. And we ate a lot of food. This is a typical um, potluck in France. It's quiche, 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 wine and quiche, a ton of meat and cheese, quiche, cheese, pizza, quiche, cheese, quiche, pizza, and lots of more cheese, cheese. I can't tell you how much cheese was there. So much cheese. This is just one table, by the way. And then we sang some songs together, and it was great, but it lasted like nine hours anyway. I had no idea that I didn't know the words to deck the halls, but you know what? This is a super hard song with all kinds of old British English crap I had to translate for the group. Anyway, then we had a birthday party, a tiny one at our house, and most did this the whole time. Look at that pouting, such a sad dog. This is my little birthday cake. I have a lot of different kinds. I don't want one cake. And then this dog is Moses' best friend. They're like so in love. But this forker had his ball stuck under the couch the whole night. So I basically became his little birch. Anyway, anyway, the birthday was great. Thank you for listening to this stupid song. Uh, I'm winging it, I'm winging it, I'm winging it. Improv edition of my birthday weekend. Thanks for listening to the comment song. Type a comment. If you're new here, I do this every day, but it's weirder than sometimes than others. Anyway, et voila. Let me know if you heard the comment song. Birthday edition. Bye.